No matter how big or small a police department is, providing safety is job one. But there is a crisis affecting smaller police departments in Maine. It keeps them handcuffed at times as they get by without sufficient manpower. New Center Maine's Henny Yashivi reports from Pittsfield. Can anybody see what that says on my sleeve? Be a better me. Be a better me, right? A fitting book for Pittsfield School Resource Officer Mike Cray to read out loud. So if I'm a better me, that makes you a better you. Someone else is calling. Too many. That's because while Officer Cray is in school, only one other cop is on the streets. Cray hits them later. The best hat is obviously the SRO job. I love that and, and enjoy doing that. But then I have to change my hats at night and go in and be a police officer. Just last week, his phone rang. Five people in a brawl. He went to the scene alone. I ended up with a, a real bad black eye. He had better me. So it was probably 10 or 11 minutes, maybe 15 minutes before help got there and finally a state trooper pulled in. Luckily, Officer Cray has no permanent injuries. What does seem to be permanent in Pittsfield, the lack of help. Chief Pete Bickmore hopes a hefty bonus helps correct that. Well, the Pittsfield Town Council uh, approved a uh, $15,000 sign-on bonus for certified full-time officers. Bonuses to lure officers into this vital profession. I, I don't know of any agency who will tell you that they're full. Um, I think across the board, every agency has some vacancy rate. There are 163 active police departments in Maine. Two thirds of them are considered small, having fewer than 20 officers. Here in Pittsfield, there's five, but the chief would like to have 10. We rely on other departments. To keep the people in town safe and its cops too. To see somebody had an accident, a bad accident, and get a call from them sometime later on saying, thank you, you helped save my life. Those are the things that, the mo uh, that are the most rewarding. In Pittsfield, Hannah Yashivi, New Center, Maine. Chief Pete Bickmore tells us he recently hired one new recruit. He's hoping to find one more.